What's up, guys? This is Elon and Franz. I'm with my boy Clinton, and we just saw the movie Below the Women. And you want to give a description of what the movie's about? Uh, it's about uh, four women, or I guess three, because one is kind of a main, minor character. It's three si or it's four sisters, one minor character, who go who the movie's just about them, their journey through life. Yeah, you know, like the journey, uh, like to uh, leaving childhood to go to adulthood, pretty much. Yeah, like their journey from being children to women. adults and women. Yeah, that transition. So it's like a coming of age movie. Yeah, from going, from going to little people to little women. Yeah, and this movie based off of uh, the book Little Women, and it takes place in what time? Period? After the Civil War. After the Civil War. The the. It takes place like there are flashbacks that take place during their childhood, and that's during the Civil War. But I think in the later years, that's a couple years afterwards. I'm not sure when. Like. So you want to give your opinion about the movie first? Nah, you can go ahead. <laughs> well, I read the book when I was little, but I don't really remember much about the book. But I remember I enjoyed it when I was little. So I was like, I really want to see this. And we got invited to see the movie early. We got to see it 20 days before it came out and two days before the world premiere. Not the drag. Yeah, that, that was cool. So yeah, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. It was a, a good little movie. I enjoyed all the characters as well. My favorite uh, character would probably be Amy out of the uh, four sisters. Who would be your favorite after this one? Uh, Joe or Josephine. It's probably my favorite. Yeah, Amy's pretty good too. Though. That's my second favorite. Yeah, all the sisters have like a major role besides like one, but you'll figure out who that is. Like, there's not really much to them really compared to the other ones. They but. they all have their own individual quirks as well. They they actually go either way to make them unique. Yeah, they are all unique. And I like the, all the side characters too, the guys and the, the side, mom and uh, father and stuff like that. Yeah, the side characters are nice. Uh, I, I really liked it. Like I said, they're each woman, each of the women had a different quirks. Like Beth was the musically gifted one. Part part of the movie shows her just playing the piano, just in the background, doing her thing. Joe's the writer, author, doing short stories, short 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 stories and novels. Um. Amy is the painter, actually. She knows how to paint. And likes money. Uh, and Meg is the... What's her question? Meg seems like she's the... She's, she seems like she knows how to dance. That's about it. She's the one that wants to fit in the most in the society, but then at the end, you'll, you'll see how things go, but that's what seems like her quirk is, want to be accepted. Yeah, she she really wanted to be married as soon as possible, it seemed. So it had some funny parts as well. I really enjoyed the little fun part. I enjoyed the small moments they had with like the sisters and stuff. Yeah, like the, the that's one, that's a really good thing. The dialogue between the sisters is actually really great. Because it feels like actual siblings. Yeah, they feel like they're actual siblings and stuff like that. You're like, oh, you it feels like a whole family movie. And then, like, I like how the movie had the family and the sisters. Then they had, like, of an extended family. Like, people that wasn't really blood to them, but uh, uh, came with them and uh, celebrated and eat it, uh, ate with them, stuff like that. I really enjoyed that as well. Yeah, it's, they, they, the, the family dynamic is really great, in my opinion. But yeah, this is like a life lesson type movie, so... You're a young girl, young guy, or an old guy, old woman, if you want to learn a lesson about life and stuff, and then just how life was for women back in uh, the day and stuff. Just, yeah. I will say one of the few problems I have with the movie is uh, I feel like there's too many flashbacks. Because you go from flashback to flashback. Yeah, sometimes you have to, like, it takes you a second to realize, am I in a flashback or? Yeah, <laughs> like, the only way I knew was looking at their hairstyles, because their hairstyles changes with age. And that's the only way I figured it out. I was like, okay, that's in the past. Because sometimes they don't even tell. Because after the first flashback, they don't tell you if there's yeah, a flashback. Yeah, so you're like, uh, uh, what's going on here? And sometimes, like at one point, there was a flashback back to the current scenes for like literally 30 seconds, and then another flashback. That's one of the uh, few problems I had with the movie. But otherwise, I think it was really good. Yeah. So if you like, just. 
regular movies, not like action movies, like just a regular movie that wants to tell a story. There's no action in this movie yeah. whatsoever. In yeah, it's not an action movie. It's like it's a story piece, time piece movie of coming to age of women. So if you want to see something like that and you read the book, I think you'd uh, be happy with how it came out. So yeah, I recommend you watch it. Anything else to say before we go? Uh, Emma Watson was pretty good in the movie. That's it. <laughs> but Amy's my favorite sister. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Joe's my favorite, but I think Emma Watson's character is also. Awesome. I'm gonna make a mold of my foot for one of you. <laughs> Peace out. Subscribe to my Patreon for a mold of my foot. <laughs>